in diesem Video. In this video, we take a look at the Replay Mode function. The Replay Mode function has been available at Promat since version 7.0 Service Pack 1. But many users only know this function from hearsay. So my colleague Horst Fuchs will now demonstrate the Replay Mode function live. So that you can understand exactly how powerful this function really is. One customer told us, shortly after upgrading, with the replay mode, we save at least 50% of the time spent on troubleshooting. But there are even more advantages, such as remote service support or training of new plant operators. And what's best about it? Replay mode is free of charge on board of Braumat version 8.0. Thanks, Jürgen. I'm going to show you the functionality of the replay mode live in the demo. Let's get back to our example, which we already discussed when we talked about the graphical recipe system. There is another functionality in the Braumat system that we use very often when we do error analysis. You may remember this overview, Graphical Recipe System. We are processing live here. Now we look at the case that sometime during the production problems occur. It may have been weeks ago, but we would like to reproduce them today. Let me outline a scenario here. We go back to the smashing temperature. The smashing temperature has certain limits that we must project, in addition to the target and actual values. And because of this, if this limit is exceeded, we receive certain messages in our internal archives. We have set 80 degrees here, which is a critical temperature for the mashing in process. If this is exceeded, we can assume that the end product, beer in this case, will probably not be as successful. The only problem is that we won't find out until about three weeks later, when the beer is already in the bottle. So, let's take a look into the past. If we select this temperature actual value with the right mouse button, we get into a context menu and jump to our message archive. They go back to the time value that they identified as the approximate error time. I see here the selection of messages, where the measurement value was exceeded. Actually, I have a lot of those on September 12, 2019. I saved this time now. With the right mouse button, I get to the context menu. I set this time in the clipboard. and in my existing process picture and without disturbing the active process. I now switch to the replay mode. Here I get a frozen screen presented with the state of my plant at exactly this time. So on the 12th of September 2019 at 1.40 pm, I did have this state, that in one of the next cycles these 80 degrees would be exceeded and therefore, write a message into the message archive. Due to the fact that this is a frozen screen and I am in replay mode, I can now take my time to analyze this problem without disturbing the active process. I see here, for example, the unit is on hold. 
cold is a scenario that the automatic can provoke by a so-called exception handling. But this could also have happened if set by an operator manually. How do I now find out which of the two scenarios is the case? Again, I can use the context menu to look into the past. This time it is not the messages that are relevant for me, but the so-called changelog entries. Each operation is entered here in a log file with a record of the corresponding user, the aggregate, i.e. the mesh pan, and the attribute that has been manipulated. In fact, one operator, Horst Fuchs in this case, did the manipulations. You can practically ask him if he can still remember. What is also noticeable is that the steam valves here are set to manual. I will also get this presented in this changelog, with the entry user, valve tag name and which attribute did get manipulated. Well, now we have a scenario and the operator might explain that at that time it was not possible to activate the steam valves via the automatic system. It was a mechanical defect. He had to put the process into a stable state, so it's on hold. And the operator manually monitored and started the heating process. In the end, his mistake here was not to pay attention to this limit. We can now look at this in parallel in the trend images. This would be the chorus of heating in normal operation. And there is a further functionality, the comparison curves. Here I can use this faulty batch, we already know their number, to make a comparison of the actual trend, of the golden batch as we call it, and the faulty trend. At this point, the operator has recognized that something does not fit. He sends the unit to stop. At this point, he sets the steam valves to manual, activates them and the heating is started in a continuous linear way. At this point, at 80 degrees Celsius, he forgets to deactivate the whole thing. Here, he recognizes his mistake, sets everything back to automatic and in principle, this process is finished normally until the end. In replay mode, we now have the possibility to rewind with this button in minute intervals. We go back to two minutes at a time. Two minutes before the error occurred, everything still looks okay. The unit is running, the steam valves are open. The temperature is not critical. We go on this play button and see how the normal process continues. If this is too slow for you, you're welcome to speed this up to 5 times speed or 10 times speed. Now you may have noticed that the unit was at hold. I can also stop this replay mode operation now and look at the status of all valves and motors in a frozen picture. But of course, I can also look at the set points and the current values at exactly this point in September 2019. Now I let this continue as normal. And at about this time, this message would probably have appeared. Now the operator manually deactivated the steam valves again, set the manual mode back to automatic, also at the parts plant, and the process continues to run as normal. So, we use replay mode for error analysis. But there is another use case. I will now switch to another process picture view. 
Here, the whole brewery is shown, but the same processes and recipes are running. And I could change this picture to replay mode. We can also use the replay mode for further training of our staff. If we want to show someone how we produce pills with our plant, we can also use replay mode without having to observe the actual process of a batch. Here we have an entry point in so-called order management. In the order management, there is also an archive function for batches that have already been run. We select a batch that we consider a golden batch, i.e. a batch that has run optimally. Again, we can select the entry point. That's the beginning of the batch. Toggle the process screen and see again the frozen state. What you can see below is a control bar, like a cassette or a video recorder. The unit is loaded. Nothing has happened yet. I can also open my face plates here and process picture with the corresponding parameters. Now press the play button and run through this batch in real time. And the nice thing is, I can speed it up. Normally, such a process takes maybe 3 hours. I don't have that time to train my staff. Maybe I only have 5 minutes. So I speed it up accordingly. And whenever you want to press pause, the current process gets paused too. And you can now analyze all parameters and reconstruct a process description afterwards. We can install the replay mode on existing systems. This is a pure OS function. We don't have to upgrade the AS, so we can reconstruct a process description afterwards using the replay mode. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.